Hello. It is Monday afternoon, late in the afternoon. Uh, I know my vlog has already hit the airwaves, as it were, and uh, we are now looking at the next one. Um, I have just, as in like a couple of minutes ago, finished the double check of all the parts that I got from that store. Uh, the only exception is this drawer right here, and I'll pull it down. It's just like a bunch of onesies, twosies type things that I have to figure out if they're in the inventory somewhere because I looked at so many pieces so many different times and like different colors of the same piece. I'm not even 100% sure um, what I may or may not have. But if any of this stuff is in the inventory, I will add it. There are some condition qualities in here so that maybe I wouldn't add it. Uh, but we'll go through these at some point. I'm, I'm less concerned about, you know, 40 pieces like this or however many there are. Uh than the vast bulk of everything else. So the next job is going to be to sort the file, make sure that the same piece isn't in more than one place. If it is, get it together. Uh, then I can start looking at combining into my inventory by pulling in uh, price data and location data and going from there. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping to work on next. However, I'm probably going to be leaving the house shortly. Uh, I've got a steering committee meeting for the lug that is tonight and so I'm not going to get a lot more done here until I get back from that in any case uh, thank you for watching and take care hello it is Monday night fairly late and probably Tuesday morning technically and uh, I have finished all the wrangling of the actual parts at this point uh, I've gone so far as to even there was a couple of lots that I was able to combine because the same piece and condition were in two places. So we've got those combined. That was pretty easy. I'm running into some brick store problems, uh, trying to figure out how to get the information in that I need to get in. Uh, normally it's been pretty easy. I've done it uh, before for all the part outs. And actually I have a, a separate file ready to go for that pick a brick cup here that is now in these containers. Uh, and that worked correctly. So I'm not really sure what the problem is with the other file. So I, I have a, a sneaking suspicion what it might be, but I'm not really sure how to fix that. So we're going to have to go through and figure that out at some point. But not tonight. I need to get some rest, take care of some other stuff. So that is the relatively short update for Monday night. Uh, yeah, and so again, thank you. Hello. It is... Uh... Tuesday evening, not terribly late yet. I've been working on stuff. I've solved my computer technical problem. And so now we are able to actually consolidate the lots that I'm adding to what was already here. And so what we did is we went through the store and we pulled all the drawers and shoe boxes and whatnot uh, that stuff was in. And now we're going through the file backwards. Uh, because I put these shelves on or these drawers on forward, so we're going backwards so that I can get to the, the drawers in the same order. Um, and then finding the piece that goes in the drawer. So, like right here in drawer AZ95 is this piece, which is a 1x3 black tile. Uh, and so I will then go and find where it is in the inventory that I bought. It's in all these numbered sections. I'll find the piece and add it to the drawer. Uh, up here are a couple of drawers that I need to do some additional work with. This one is probably too full. And this one, not because of the upload, but I noticed there's two different pieces in it. So this is going to cause some trouble. I need to figure out how that happened if I can and, and see if I can fix that. So yeah, that's uh, another reason why that's up here. Is I, I noticed an error while I was doing stuff. Uh, so yeah, that is what I'm working on at the moment. And it's going pretty smooth at this point. I just don't know how long it's going to take because there's a, a number of, of lots, as you can see, that are already in existence in my store. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty smooth at this point. I'm very happy with things at the moment. So I'm going to sign off for, for now. I may come back later uh, before I go to bed and when I'm done down here to kind of update uh, how's it going. So thank you very much. Hello. It is late Tuesday night, and I finished a big chunk of what I need to do. Uh, there are still pieces here on the table. There are still pieces in the Acro Mills drawers, and the blue lids, and the gray lids, and then the large gray lidded ones over here. But all these drawers over here were what I already had in inventory, and now all those parts that were already in my inventory have been added to. Now, some of them have moved around where they were, um, and 
I've got a whole bunch of these shoe boxes down below. A lot of them I added to, some I had to create. Uh, but we've got all that stuff taken care of. So the only thing left to do now is to take all the parts that weren't already in my inventory and find them homes. And that's going to be a project for starting tomorrow. And it's probably going to take me a couple of days, judging from how long it took me to do this, because this was the easier part in some ways. Uh, this will be easy in some ways as well, but I'm going to have to clean up my table here. I've got uh, these drawers are ones that basically the stuff was in them, but didn't fit in them anymore. And so I've got to clean all this up uh, before I can move on. But I'm not going to do any of that tonight. I'm tired. And yeah, so that is the progress we've made tonight. Uh, I'm really excited about that too. I also picked up some Lego earlier today, but I'm not going to show that yet. We're going to hold that off for later on in the vlog. We'll kind of like tease it a little bit. I haven't even looked at it myself yet. So, um, but I had a, a general idea what it was. So it wasn't just a blind, hey, here's some money. But that is all I have for you tonight and Wednesday. Uh, I've got some stuff going on personally, but we should have plenty of time to be down here and get a bunch of stuff done. So that is where I'm going to leave you off with. Thank you very much. Hello. So nothing has happened since the last update. Well, almost nothing. The only thing that really happened is I did some cleanup down here and I brought down a couple of things that I've purchased. Uh, this I purchased just today. It's a bag of uh, mostly Lego. There's some non-Lego in here. I think both of the base plates up here are non-Lego. Um, and I got that at a thrift store, Goodwill. And this was a different item. This is something a friend of mine had found at a garage sale um, but it wasn't just for sale you had to bid on it so we kind of discussed the price and i put a bid in it uh through him he actually filled out the bid and with my information and i ended up winning uh we're not really going to take a, take a long look at this but you know we've got a, a blue base plate plate here with the island on it um and let's see there's an instruction for six two six seven uh here's a technic instruction book for 8808 um a lid to something cardboard with a bunch of technic parts in it uh and then there's some pirate and other things a bunch of minifigures here um uh, this goes to probably one of the blacktron sets so there's some space stuff there's some dirt on some of these uh, as you can see one of the interior yellow boxes that used to come in the boxes with another set of instructions down there more Technic on the side and just, you know, here's a half base plate and stuff like that. So it probably will do okay for what I paid for it. And uh, we will go through this at some point. I just, uh, I really need to concentrate on getting this store taken care of and in inventory before I do much of anything else. So we're just going to put this aside and we will look at it later more in detail. But that is what I have going on at the moment. We're going to continue on. Now I have to start adding lots that didn't already exist in my store with all the pieces that are in all the uh, acros and these totes here. And then over here on that card, I've got some the larger totes over there. Uh, but yeah, we were getting there and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I had been hoping maybe today or tomorrow because of all the other stuff I had going on today. And it's probably tomorrow or Friday. Um, but I will probably have some help coming over one or both of those days. So hopefully that will assist me in getting some more stuff done. We'll see how it goes. In any case, as always, thank you very much. Hello. It is Thursday evening, and I have finished uploading or in entering in all the pieces into spots from the store I bought. So you've got uh, these five empty totes here. All those empty totes back there, and then these two acromill drawer units here, both empty. Uh, the one missing drawer is over here. It has the Technic pins in it, which I'm not going to sell on BrickLink because I would have to go and look at every single one of these with a really, really good magnification to see if it said Lego or not. I'm not convinced that if it doesn't say Lego, it's not Lego, because I think at one point they probably weren't printing Lego on the side of them. Uh, but it's very painful on my eye to look that small so I'm just going to sell these locally at some point for a couple of bucks a bag I mean the pins are probably worth a penny or two a piece and then this is a bunch of just random one-off pieces that are I didn't bother trying to find homes for or anything like that so we'll probably toss this in with the categories that they represent at some point so it's a few pieces there 
And of course, we've got the non-Lego here and the not good enough to sell Lego back there. Um, but then all these are the pieces getting added to the store, or, you know, or the drawers. Uh, now, the a few of the drawers, a lot of the ones on the table, and then a lot of these shoe boxes, although not all of them, uh, already existed. So I was just adding quantity. And in many cases, like um, I think this first one here on the top, that purple one right there, I believe that's the tan ingot piece. I think I added four of them, and the rest of them I had a ton of, so it didn't really change much. But I did add more. Once I got further in, I had to, more and more of these pieces over here are, are just added, completely new. Um, I also added all of this style to a spot where they'll fit. Um, over here, where I'm putting them, I actually lifted up and started putting stuff on the top shelf. You can see here, over there, I actually was using two high. Over here, I only did one high. Um, not really sure why I did that. I think it's just very, very close to the, the beam up there. Uh, at some point, I'd also like to redo this one so that I'm not using the that shoebox in the corner. That other style, I can fit in there and get out with the other spots full with shoeboxes because you can shove these a little bit further over like this but it's still not enough room to get one of these out it just doesn't quite work but i can fit the other ones in there and it will work so i just it's going to take some time to do that and i'll have to print up some new stickers and that sort of thing but that's not a big problem um we did use some cups uh cups i immediately put away because i don't have labels for them yet so it's all coded into like i said previously O one in whatever unit they're in is coated to the cups above it. So basically, as soon as I filled a cup in a section, I went and put it away. I did that with a few other drawers. So there's a few drawers that don't actually, aren't showing over here on the cart. But this cart is loaded. Um, and that's not even including the drawers on the table. Uh, as you can see, I'm on my sixth level there, down here. It started with the larger drawers at the very bottom that went to all smalls. Uh, up at the top, I just filled three large drawers, and then there's an extra drawer at the very top. I may condense this table over as well. Uh, and then these two uh, shelves, just poor planning. They had a combination of small and large drawers. So I can't really put a piece of cardboard on top, but I may rework those so that I can just roll the thing over there. The other problem is the drawers are completely out of order. They're from all over the place, especially with the used drawers, because I was trying to retain my categories. Uh, so if you look away over there, there is some slope drawers that are out over here. That's a couple of technic drawers that are out. Uh, and then further over, there's additional drawers through the used section where I haven't actually processed that used category yet, but I had a spot for it. I also did find an error in my category definitions for the area I had, and that was actually right here. Um, I had these three labeled for technic because I was expecting it to need a lot of room. And then when I went to go put away the 11 uh, Everything is Awesome minifigures that I have that are used, I realized I didn't have a used minifigure section. So um, I've basically conscripted these two to stay as Technic, and this one is going to become minifigure at the end. Uh, and, of course, there's the one drawer out that has the 11 Everyone is Awesome minifigs in it. Uh, so yeah, there was a small error. I mean, I was glad that I had the extra space for the Technic uh, originally allocated because uh, it also includes Bionicle pieces. We'll see how this goes. It, it's a work in progress, you know, and if it doesn't work out, it was an experiment that I tried. It's not going to hurt anything doing this. Uh, it'll actually still in the long run speed up putting some parts away because they'll probably still follow this system. It just may not end up working 100%. And well, that's fine. We'll see how it goes when we get there. Uh, but yeah, I've got a. I'm gonna. I basically left these uncondensed so that it would just. I could show them off. I've also got to pull the labels off them because um, the labels are like. There's like a thickness to them. It, they're, they're like these sticky things that are sticky on both sides, which is kind of strange. Um, so I just got to pull all those off and uh, nest these to store them. Uh, I probably won't pull them off of these just because it'd be a big pain on the butt. Uh, and they, I can't really nest these or anything like that. So it's not a big deal. But yeah. And I, you know, as you can see, I went through a whole bunch of these to get the small dividers. 
uh, for a lot of the drawers because we did try using dividers as much as possible. And again, you can see that through here there's drawers of dividers because I was adding a store, so I wasn't able to keep necessarily a four minimum per for a part out or something like that. So like you can see here, I've got, you know, there's a one by probably a 10 or 12 plate and I only have two of it. You know, it's just the way it goes. And that might even be a new piece. So yeah, that, that's a little bit of a problem, but we'll get past that. It won't be a problem. And uh, yeah, that is what I'm up to. Uh, I also went to the Lego store today and I bought some pickup brick cups. There were some new parts that had arrived today. And so I bought some of those. Um, once I add the store, I still have to deal with pricing of the pieces and then upload the parts. Once I do that, I will be like 2,500 pieces short of 300,000, give or take. So I'm really, I'm hoping the pickup brick cups will put me over. Um, I've got a few days to deal with that, and I think we'll probably just do the full opening on November 1st, so much later than I was originally planning on, but then this store situation happened, and I decided to go for it, and yeah, I just wanted to get these parts in before I opened, because I realized that if I'm trying to fulfill orders and deal with this store, it was just going to be way too much. Um, I would certainly buy a store in the, in the future. Um, I have learned some things in what I would look for, pay attention to, and how things might be easier to handle going forward. But I'm, there's going to be things I'm going to learn as I move forward. And that's all right. Um, I don't mind learning as long as I don't make too many horrible, horrible mistakes, which I think I've avoided for the most part. In any case, uh, that is it for Thursday evening. Thank you very much. Hello. It is Friday. And I have uploaded the store that I bought to BrickLink. It is up there. And my part count is at like 297,700 and change. Uh, yesterday, I'd also gone to the Lego store and I picked up these four pick a brick cups. I've poured them off into Ziplocs and I'm going to see what the value of each one is when I'm done. But I'm going to add these parts next and I'm kind of really hoping I can hit 300,000 parts because I think we'll just open on Tuesday on November 1st, full open, and then uh, hopefully we'll be at 300,000 at that point. We will see. I also picked up this bag of Lego at a thrift store. Uh, it's got a friend set in it, and there's a couple of horses and some wings for the horses. I think the minifigures, that there looks like there's two, are not in here. But uh, that's the way it goes, and we'll deal with this later at some point. I got a, a bunch of other used that I've gotten recently, and we'll look at that. I mean, you can see down there, and then there's that yellow box in the one tote, which indicates kind of an older set. Uh, so yeah, in any case, uh, we will uh, be moving on with adding these up and it shouldn't take too terribly long to get all these parts added in and, and we'll see how close we get to 300,000 and maybe I'll do a part out over the weekend or something just to get myself over that point. Uh, I still have all the drawers to put away though. So yeah, uh, doing a part out could be difficult because some of those parts might end up going into some of these drawers and it's just going to be problematic to get to them. I mean, as you can see, there's six levels right here so yeah we'll see uh, i'm not sure what i'm up to but that is the update for friday afternoon thank you hello so we're back again it's still friday night and i've put away all the acromill drawer units that had stuff in them i have some empty ones over here that i got to deal with uh, at some point that are belong in the store somewhere but now i got to put away the shoe boxes, and I've got this entire cart loaded with shoe boxes of pieces. Uh, like this shelf here, it's double depth on the one end. Double over there with those smaller ones there. And then the rest of them are just ended out. If I had the bottom free, I could have just put stuff down there, but I don't have to lean down quite as far to do that. Uh, and I'm going to put those away, and we're getting close to being prepared to open. Uh, and then I'm going to come back when I'm done with a different little update. So stay tuned for that. It'll be moments for you because it'll be recorded, but it's probably going to be about a half an hour before I get to it. Thank you. Hello again. We are over towards my desk because I've been doing some changes over at the desk. Nothing major, really. But I have brought the uh, counting scale that I had upstairs down, because I was also using it as a regular scale. And I've got my label printer back there along the wall. So, uh, and then I've also brought down some 
boxes and then this little drawer unit here has some packing materials in it uh, some bubble wrap and different things it's not terribly super organized right now but i'm not expecting to need it to be if that happens then i'll come up with some other plans but yeah this is my little shipping nook i'm going to take over in this corner i think and then down here will be other types of work but uh we're getting close we're getting close and i've got a few more things i'd like to do yet but uh i don't know if i'm going to get to them tonight or not we will see Anyway, that is probably the last update for Friday. Thank you. Hello. So I'm over by my desk again. Uh, I think I already showed this, but I'm not sure. But I brought the uh, other counting scale down for weighing packages. I've got my label printer plus the labels. Uh, some packing material here that I haven't really put away. And there's some more boxes and some stuff in this drawer unit. So I'm pretty much ready to go for that. Uh, I've got a 5 terabyte easy drive that I'm going to use as a backup for the laptops for stuff. But uh, tonight was a gaming night for me, but while I was gaming, which I was doing down here, I was working on something. Uh, not terribly, you know, special or anything, but I had this huge tote of one by brick ready to go, and so I've been sorting out one by brick by size. Uh, I don't have any 1x14 yet. I don't even know if it exists. I didn't bother checking, but 1x12 exists, 1x16 exists. I'm not sure about 14. Um, and then this back here is brick that is not in good enough shape to sell, as is this one. So there's a lot of rejected pieces, and maybe I'm being too picky. Uh, I'm trying to be somewhat lenient in some cases and not, but I have a ton more to go through. So I'm going to continue plowing through that at some other point. But I think I'm going to go upstairs and rest now because it's kind of late. Uh, but yeah, we are moving forward with everything. And it'll be uh, the November 1st that we're going to just throw the doors open on the store and see what happens. So yeah, wish me luck there because who knows what will happen at that point. It's going to be a ride, that's for sure. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello. So yeah, it is Sunday night. This will be the last entry in the vlog. That goes out on Monday. Uh, this is the cart that I'm going to use for picking orders. I've got some trays there ready to go. A little bit more organization that needs to occur there. All the drawers are put away. Uh, I'm still sorting one by brick here. Uh, as you can see, I've got all the different sizes, a whole bunch of reject parts, one piece there in white that's not even Lego, and then this huge tote still with a bunch of pieces left in it. It's more than half full still, so I got a lot of time left to go through all this. Uh, the one by two is filling up quite nicely. Um, a lot of the rest of them are about the same. These large ones are just, I'm not getting many of them that are in good enough sellable condition. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of them, but I'm rejecting so many. So yeah, that's it's, it's troublesome that the large pieces aren't making it, but that's just the way it goes. Some lots are gonna be like that, and this is probably a conglomeration of many lots, so there's probably going to be pockets in here I'll get to that are in better shape. And I think, they, yeah, these are all washed, so they've all been mixed up anyway. So who knows? Um, over here, we have, um, I've got the small container that had the non-Lego in it from that store I purchased. Uh, just some other random stuff. This is a couple of things I bought at Goodwill today. Uh, this bag of pieces here. Uh, just all sorts of things in there. Um just this, that, and the other. And then this tote, which was also taped closed, but I've removed the tape. I haven't really gone through it much, but I did buy it largely because of the sale that I saw. And I have a feeling that's gonna be a, a better item. I mean, I'd be great, but I think it, it's gonna be okay. And a lot of this stuff in here, I mean, this stuff here, this particular one that's non-Lego, but a lot of it is. Uh, I was able to see some minifigures. Here's one right here. Well, got away from me, but there was one there. Uh, and it looks like there's another one right here. Uh, nothing special as I can see. He's probably not even all correct. He's got a yellow hand and a green hand and this helmet that probably doesn't really match the, sh the torso piece he's got. So he's just all kind of all mixed up. And that's the way that sort of stuff is going to be, I have a feeling. That's not Lego. I'm almost, I'm like nearly 99% sure there. Um, but yeah, so it's tough to be gone through at some point. I'm not on a big rush for that because I got so much of it. Um, I probably really should not be buying it anymore. Um, <laughs> that might be something I need to look into as well. 
Um, and I'm also going to start dealing with these boxes here because uh, I'm going to need to make some room uh, for other stuff that's going on. And so I'm going to start doing some live streams. Uh, I'm going to set it up a little differently. I'll have the camera facing so you can see the boxes. And I'll start opening up boxes on the live stream, like pick a box at the top. I'm not going to play the game of like you pick the bottom box in the row. That's not happening. Um, but I mean, I've long since forgotten exactly what is in most of these. Um, I think with, uh, you know, some judging by weight, I can guess like if it's bulk or not bulk. But there's even some of that that's going to be there's specific reasons why I bought bought certain things. But yeah, we're going to start going through this and uh, getting this stuff put away. We're going to get some totes for this stuff too, to pour it off into. Uh, I may even move my sorting operations here uh, elsewhere and then I'll dump a you know box here. Maybe I'll be working. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure how I'll do it. I mean, I might be able to put the webcam there that's on the shelf there of that cart and just turn the cart so basically or it's gonna follow me anyway so i could just stand over here and say here pick a box and you know figure out what people choose i may put uh, maybe pieces of paper up to label the columns because they're roughly in columns of boxes and we just letter them and like choose a letter and we'll open up the top box in that letter or something like that but yeah that's stuff i gotta get to soon because i'm gonna need some of this room back soon and yeah and then there's like i've got all these drawer units that is like my own personal collection the old stuff that i've had sorted for years and years uh that some of that stuff's gonna have to get dealt with going forward um i've got these sterlite three drawer drawers i'm gonna have to start dealing with moving some of that stuff around so yeah i just got all sorts of things that are in midstream and of course opening the store on tuesday uh, it's probably going to not be at midnight because uh, I think BrickLink's time is based on uh, Western Standard Time in the U.S. And I don't want sales to be in October technically. So I'm going to wait until probably early morning on Tuesday. Uh, but then I'll open it up the gates and we'll see how it goes at that point. Um, so yeah, the next couple of days are going to be busy uh, for stuff for me and for stuff going up on the... Uh, youtube channel because the, the vlog is coming and there's gonna be something on tuesday and so well you're watching the vlog now i'm recording it and it's coming but in any case i'm losing sense of things at the moment but yeah tuesday there'll be something else and just all sorts of stuff going on so i'm kind of excited got a lot to do but uh that's what i am up to at this point so look forward to some live streams probably in this coming week and uh, more to come anyway as always thank you very much